Kia ora whanau. in today's video we're going to take a look at the FIT 5th edition rules. These rules were first introduced in Australia a couple of years back and have now been adopted by the international governing body. We won't dissect every rule change but we will have a look at the 10 key changes you need to know. Let's dive in. First up let's have a look at the field of play and terminology. There are some big changes here with the 5 metre line being moved out to 7 metres. There are also now four Sinbin areas placed in each corner of the field. This is important, we'll talk more about these shortly. There are also some changes to terminology. Touchdowns are now called tries. The touchdown zone is called the in goal area. The scoreline is now the try line. And of course, a period of time is now called a Sinbin. There's also been a few changes at the coin toss. These are important to note. The winning captain still has three options. Direction for first half, interchange area for the duration of the game, and the choice of which team will start. If they opt for the opposition to start, the winning team will tap off the second half. This is important, because if a result is required, the team that taps off the second half will now start the drop off. More on drop offs later on. Okay, let's talk about the zero touch. If the ball is touched in flight by a defending player, but then retrieved by an attacking player without touching the ground, the touch count restarts and the first touch will be zero. Additionally, when a ball is intercepted by a defending player, the first touch will be zero touch as well. On an intercept or line break, players cannot interchange until the next touch is made or the ball becomes dead. Defending players must not interfere in the ruck or interfere with the player performing a roll ball. Now, if a defender is penalised for a ruck infringement, the mark for the penalty is now 10 metres directly forward of the infringement. Seven metres. Defending players are now required to retreat to a fixed distance of seven metres from the roll ball to be on side. That means if the roll ball is eight metres out, the defence shall retire one metre from the try line to be on side. Retreat lines. Defending players may now choose any direction of retreat and change that direction as many times as they like while returning to an onside position, provided that they do not impede the attacking team. In this example, you can see number four changes her retreat line as she retires to the try line. Number seven, seven meter zone and reasonable pace. Now the seven meter zone is the area between the try line and the seven meter line. When a player from the defending team enters its defensive seven meter zone, the defending team must move forward at a reasonable pace until a touch is imminent or made. What is deemed reasonable pace is at the discretion of the referee, but players should be showing a positive intent to make a touch. If the ball enters the 7 metre zone, onside defenders do not need to move forward, but they cannot drop to the try line until a touch is made or is imminent. Number 8, Exclusions. If the defending team in their 7 metre zone is penalised three times in the same position, the last offending player will be given an exclusion until the end of that position. The excluded player is placed in the Sinbin area behind the defending team's dead ball line on the same side as their interchange area. They may re-enter the field once their team regains position. It has to go off so they get a full set, only attacking five players with some 07 heat team, so they have numbers. Can, oh! What happened there? Are they calling it a try? No, that was a forward pass. Maybe a brain explosion moment there. Saw who played. Number nine, Sinbins. The duration of a Sinbin is now defined as four completed positions. A completed position is marked by a try, a change of position, or when the ball goes dead for half time or full time. Any player sent to the Sinbin must stand in the Sinbin area at the opposite end of the field and on the same side as their interchange area. I think area. the new ruling is she's probably gonna be off for around about four sets. Should be the last set and then should get the next player on. In this example, you can see the player in the Sinbin in the top right corner. It's also important to note any player sent to the Sinbin must return to the interchange area prior to re-entering the field of play. Lastly, there are heaps of changes to the drop-off procedure. So many, in fact we made a separate video all about it which we encourage you to go and watch. But to summarise the key changes, the team that tapped off second now start to drop off. Teams start with four players and play for a period of two minutes. The team winning after two minutes is declared the winner. However, if the game is still tied, teams will drop to three on three and play golden try. Got it! 
Oh, that is a brilliant try here, Georgie. I think you better get There you have it. Those are the 10 key changes to the rules you should know. Have a read through the FIT 5th edition rules if you want to learn more. Or check out some of the recent action via TFA and Touch New Zealand channels. Feel free to get in touch if you have any questions. Kia ora.